Right, well, I've got the top part of the mould off. It's a tricky job. I have to, you have to really stretch this to get it off. That's the top one off. And I've got to peel back to the next layer now. This is going to be a struggle because uh, basically I've just got the top part of the mould off now. And you can see the top part of this uh, bobbin. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened if my mould got deformed or something, but the actual silicon didn't go all the way to the top. So <laughs> I have to actually have to drill that out later on, but that's no biggie. Um, yeah, because most of the hole's there. But um, I'll see if I can film this while I'm doing it, because it is pretty hard. Okay, well, I think we're rolling. That's, every time I film stuff, I don't know what happens, but the camera usually ends up out of alignment with what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully I've got it right this time. Hopefully. <laughs> well, you, this just makes it a bit easier, a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, get a whole, I'll pull a bit back. Squirt a bit down there and then work it around. Trouble is, it makes it more sticky, that's the only trouble. But now, this is the part that's fun. Um, have I got this in camera? Yes, I have this time. Oh my god, this is fun! Right, it basically pops out. There we go. Now the back end, there we go, it pops out. That's uh, pretty much, actually that come out pretty well. Um, it actually came out a bit better than the last one. So, yeah, good, that's good. Uh, it's, it is sticky on the top, and the, there's the mould, the, the bottom part of the mould. Now I'm just going to put that down because it's less sticky on the other side. Now I've got to clean the mould out because um, it does get kind of gooey and I'm using the cotton bud simply because when I squirt this and then I use the tissue paper the tissue paper gets stuck to everything and it makes a big mess so cotton bud seems to be better because it keeps more of the isopropyl alcohol in one place so I'll turn this inside out this is the part where it could destroy the mold it could literally just Tear apart. There's a, actually a hole there, but that's on the outside. It's not important. Right, I've got to get this inside out. Oh, look at that. Uh, that's all the goo. And this is already just starting to dry already. I'm just trying to get the goo. There is a tear in there. But I only wanted two casts out of this anyway, so... I mean, if I can get more out of it, great, but I'm not really bothered, really. For the, for the moment, it was a pretty awkward challenge because this mould is, as I say, it's very, um... It's a peculiar si uh, shape. Very odd, very odd shape. And it is tearing a little bit, but... I'm not worried, because once it fold it back together again you pretty much can't it all closes up on itself anyway I'm just getting rid of the residual resin that's in there now, there was a slight defect on there I had to cut a bit out but. so Um, and later on, I'll just wash it in soapy water. But um, there's a reason for getting rid of the, the old resin off it. It's because if I, I put this away in the drawer, months later, this gooey stuff will set and it'll be like razor sharp. And it could flake off and cut my hand because it'll be very thin flakes of, uh, if you know what I mean. That's the reason why. I'm just trying to keep it clean. 
Okay, that's that back. And this basically goes on here. There's my line. I've got. I made a felt it line. I've got to redo that every so often. But uh, my mold did get slightly distorted because the centre pillar is a bit off angle. But when I actually cast the mold, I just put a little sticky pad underneath and then put some weight on the top, and it aligns up properly. So, uh, so that's that. So that's my mold. It looks kind of neat. It's a nice. The mold is actually good. It's uh, there's nothing wrong with it really. Um, it came out really well. Now what the problem was? Uh, it's very smooth if you look. The surfaces are very smooth. Um, the problem with it was that um, I didn't use enough silicon and. Um, and I, I tried to remove it from the cast when I was after done it before it was properly hardened and it got a little bit deformed. But that's not a big deal. I, I can see where it lines up because there's a, a certain it isn't perfectly straight and uh, I have got this red line. But there's, a, there's some little imperfections which line up. There's like a little bit that sticks out there that fits into there, and I can see where they go. And what I do when I um, to prepare this mold for the next time, um, I literally lay it on a flat surface, a nice flat surface. Then I get the cellar tape. Then I gently put the cellar tape around both on a flat surface, and then I with this. So I said, dead flat with flush with the mold. I attach the solar tip and I gently pull the solar tip around the mold to wrap it, but without putting a lot of pressure on because it can distort the mold. Um, the trick is to pull it, then gently wrap it, then pull it, and gently wrap it until both halves are sealed. So that when I do pour resin in, it's not going to ooze out of the gaps, you see. That's the only reason for the solar tape. <clears throat> but splitting it like this made it a lot easier for me to get it apart because because it's keyed in at the top and it's keyed in at the bottom, it would have been impossible to get this out. And there's no way I would have been able to get that out from that tiny little hole in the middle. That's the reason why I split it like that. So it just made because there's a big there was a big flange on the top, this this part here. A huge flange right on the top there. So, because I removed that section first, and which basically had to stretch it like a big rubber band, and it made it a lot easier, and it works. So, that's pretty much it. Look at that, it's just fell back together again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, close up. Yeah, I do a quick close up. You can see it keys keys left there. And uh, you see the imperfections do line up. That's uh, that one there. It's a bit gooey at the moment. Once it's uh, if I put some isopropyl alcohol it slips into place, but it's it's, it's sticking to itself at the moment. <laughs> Anyway, that's it. <laughs>